Welcome to Rex Pine CV. I'm Danielle Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Now let's go to Miss Cavell. Good morning, students, and happy Monday. I hope everybody had a restful weekend. We're going to talk a little bit today about being responsible for your grades. On Friday, parents were supposed to check Power School to make sure that all grades are up to date. We do have a lot of students that have zeros for missing work that has not been turned in or completed. Students, please make sure you're going on to Edmodo to see what assignments you have daily and reaching out to your teacher if you have not turned something in. Students, please keep in mind that everybody is going to be getting a quarter four grade at the end of the quarter, so we want to make sure that everybody does awesome. Make sure you're staying on top of your grades, be responsible, and submit your work. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you, Ms. Cavell. That was awesome. Now let's go to Jaden to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Danielle. Today in history, May 8th, 1858, Minnesota becomes the 32nd state of the reunion. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors. Thank you, Jaden. Hello, Patriots family. Welcome to Things to Do If You're Bored. For today's activity, we're going to be making an awesome toy that you can play with during quarantine. It's an origami jumping frog. And here are the steps. Take a sheet of paper and cut it into a square. Then fold that piece of paper in half. After you've done that, take it and fold half of it into a triangle. Then fold the same half into another triangle the opposite way. Then do the same thing to the other side of the paper. After that, take your paper and fold the sides into the shape of a triangle. Do that for both sides. After you've got that right, take your sheet of paper and fold the two top sides to the middle and do the same thing for the bottom. Then fold the two sides over two halves. After that, fold one side up and then fold the other sides over it. Then squash fold the end of the frog. Now it's a jumping frog. Wow, wasn't that so fun? Now you have something to show to your family and to play with during quarantine. Remember, if you do this craft, send a picture or video to pinesaransoms at gmail.com. And remember to check in tomorrow for the next DIY. And stay creative! Now let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Nathaniel. That was awesome. Now let's go to Water with Vani. Thank you, Danielle. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 81 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered showers. Now, let's go back to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Bonnie. And here's today's joke of the day. A businessman went into the office and found an inexperienced handyman painting the walls. The handyman was wearing two heavy jackets on a hot summer day. Thinking this was a little strange, the businessman asked the handyman why he was wearing two 
jackets on such a hot day. The handyman showed him the instructions on the can of paint. They read, for best results, put on two coats. <laughs> now let's go back to Nino. Thanks, Sammy. That was a really good one. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your remote page to welcome your scholars in the morning. Attendance must be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide your scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Milholm, Ms. Sharon, Ms. Gilbert, Ms. Mraz, Mr. Santiago, and Ms. Cavalita. You had the correct answer to Friday's riddle, which was, what is seen in the middle of March and April that can't be seen at the beginning or end of either month? The correct answer to the trivia question was the letter R. Now for today's riddle. What has to be broken before you use it? Once again, what has to be broken before you can use it? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your responses to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.